popping. Have you ever wondered how to make that girl catch feelings for you, bro? You've been dating her. You've been courting her. Things seem to be going well for you, bro. You feeling good about this, honey. She beautiful. She beautiful. But you don't know how to make her catch feelings for you. Because you ain't never had a woman really catch feelings for you in a way that got her obsessed, bro. Well, I'm finna tell you the three most important things, bro, to make a woman catch feelings. And you better stick around for the whole thing, bro. Because y'all know I'm going to drop the most important one at the end, bro. So before we get into that, man, hit the like button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Y'all already know how it's coming, bro. And let's get started, bro. All right. So the first thing you need. In order to make a woman catch feelings for you, bro, is you have to make her wonder about you. What that mean, Katie? I don't know what that mean, bro. Do she wonder about me? Look, look, bro. She cannot know exactly what you feel about her. That's why dudes who spew their feelings and have all these emotional talks with women early on start to see her go cold and flaky. And she doing the opposite of catching feelings, bro. Because you doing the opposite of what's attractive, bro. She needs to wonder about you. That's why you can't hit her up after the date, bro, every time. Nah, you wait, bro. You wait until you wait two, three days. If you don't hear from her in two, three days, you hit her up. But you wait. Because you want her to process that in her brain. Talk to her friends a little bit. Wonder about you. I wonder what he doing right now. I wonder if he gonna call me back. I wonder if he like me. All of these things take up mental space in her brain. And when things take mental space in your brain, you have time to think about and ponder on whether you actually like it or not. And guess what happens? You can guess what happened, bro. She starts to get attached to it. I really like the feeling of being around him. And the only way she gonna know that she likes the feeling of being around you is when you ain't constantly in her face all the time, bro. So that's number one. That's number one for sure. Number two, bro. And I'm gonna have to go a little bit into this one, bro. You have to be good in bed, bro. You ain't gotta be a god. You ain't gotta be the most blessed man in the world. You ain't got to be none of that, bro, but you must take your time when it comes to foreplay, bro. You must take your time and you must get good at certain things, bro. I ain't going to say it on here, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You got to get good at certain things, bro, because that's honestly the quickest way to create an instant connection with a woman, bro. Once you get to that space, once you get physical, that's that's the easiest mix of energies, my guy. And you got to be able to be good, bro. Because if you can't at least be good, then you getting beat out by somebody who is. Honestly, bro. It's like being in a competition, bro. It's like being a basketball player. Oh, I'm a good shooter, but I can't do nothing else on the court. So what about this dude who can shoot good and he can dribble, bro? And he can do all of this. He going to beat you out on the court, bro. So in order to beat competition for a woman to catch feelings for you, she has to have something to hang her hat on, bro. And that's just simply something you cannot get around, bro. So the best way to do that is to learn how to take your time during foreplay, bro. And then learn a woman's body, my guy. You must learn a woman's body. Now, I can't go do that research for you. You got to go do that research on your own. But once you get good in the sack, my guy, trust me, you're going to see a whole lot more success with these women catching feelings for you. And any real pimp player, alpha male, any real dude who actually good with women going to tell you that, bro. That space in the bed, bro, that, that could fix a whole lot of small problems you got in a woman's mind, bro. It really can. It's super powerful, bro. It's super powerful. Number three, and this is the most important one. So if you don't take nothing else from this video, you have to take this from this video. The only way you're ever going to have a woman genuinely catch feelings for you and stay that way is you give her new feelings, stimulation, and experiences, bro. This is what I mean by new feelings, stimulations, and experiences, bro. You have to. 
because she has to associate you with positive things. But more than just positive things, she got to associate you with a roller coaster, my guy. So sometimes she got to feel negative about you, bro. Sometimes she got to feel positive about you, bro. But it's in the polarity of these feelings, bro, that she built this attachment, bro. You ever been attached to something and you like, damn. I shouldn't really be attached to this thing. This thing don't really make me feel that good. It's because you've experienced extreme highs with that thing and extreme lows. And women must feel this stuff. But she must feel new sensations. You have to make her feel things that ain't nobody before you ever made her feel, bro. i give y'all a little story real quick. This girl I'm with, whatever. She ain't never been to the range, right? She ain't never had the feeling of having that thing in her hand, bro. And I took her to the range. I'm like, I'm going to take you to the range. We're going to see what that's like. You feel me? And she did. It was exhilarating. It was an exhilarating feeling, bro. Guess what that did later? That made her super, super ready, bro. Hot and ready, bro. Lil Caesar's hot and ready, bro. Later. Because it was a new stimulation, a new feeling. Now she could anchor that feeling to me, bro. So anytime she go back in her mind and think about the first time she felt this thing or this stimulation, she going to think about me. Enough of these feelings and enough of creating these attachments, bro, is going to make you attached to her, bro. And then you're going to become her prototype. Which is what you want to do. You want to become her prototype. The thing she looks and compares anybody after you too. Or anybody who she got any romantic interest. She going to be comparing them to you, bro. And when they can never beat you out, she going to always have them feelings for you, bro. That's a real thing. You might not want to hear that, but that's a real thing, my guy. So when you give her enough of these new feelings stimulations and all of that all of that adds up and it culminates into her catching feelings for you bro and when you pull back she realizes damn i really really like life with him because i get to feel life without him even if you just pull him back for a day i really get to feel life without him man i really don't feel that good he not here today but it's secretly because you're giving her all of these experiences, bro. She always feeling something new with you. Or at the very least, if it's not new, she always on an emotional high or an emotional low. And it's bouncing up and down, bro. And when you could do that for a woman, when you could give her an emotional roller coaster, she going to catch feelings and she going to be attached to you for as long as you can make her feel that, bro. Real talk. But I'm going to leave it right there, bro. If you want to catch some elite level game, bro, I'm talking about LeBron level game, bro. Click that video right there, man. Make sure you watch that video all the way to the end, my guy. Make sure you like this video, bro. Comment below. Help me out with the algorithm, bro. If you new to the channel, my guy, or if you just lurking, man, hit the subscribe button. 69% of y'all ain't subscribed, man. What the hell is that, bro? Subscribe, man. Stop playing. It's your boy, Kaden the Rake, man. Kaden the Don, trying to make you the object of her desires, man. I'm out of here, bro. I'm dropping, I'm dropping.